champions, we're back and making his return to IPW, the former IPW light heavyweight champion and independent superstar Mike Quackenbush, and there's another former IPW light heavyweight champion, Sage Nikki. and Ron, this is what I might call an independent lover's fest. Only you would call it an independent lover's fest. What this is, is an independent dream match. You got That's what I said. You got the Lucha Libre style of Mike Quackenbush. He's more of a hybrid between Japanese and Lucha style, mixed with some of the most crazy, huge American spots that I've ever seen. Sejinaki is about the only guy that meshes and intertwines with this type of talent. The fans of IPW and the fans of the independent scene are a little bit awestruck when they see a match like this, and they're not quite sure what to say. I'm not even going to try to call what the hell he just did. Actually, he just did a, a double step over gimmick right out of that maneuver there by Sage and Akeen. If this was this amateur wrestling, he'd have three points for an escape, but it's not. It's professional wrestling, IPW style, and instead of getting points, he gets a knee right to the jaw. Huge knee lift. What that actually was was a double step over gimmick into a cartwheel deal. Get it right, Aaron. I'm sorry, Rod. I've been off for the last two weeks without you. We see some serious forearm action going on here from Mike Quackenbush to Sage and Aki, but Sage and just strong arms him and stops it. And what in the world was that? Huge, huge submission arm bar maneuver. Locked on, takes over Quackenbush, and he's going to break his arm if the mullet doesn't get in or break it up because he's got his foot on the ropes. Got to give the mullet credit. Always got to give the mullet credit with Richie's Rats at ringside. He's always out there and ready to go, ready to perform. He had a match here against Don Juan DeSanto that we all saw not too long ago. But right now he's back to his normal self. He's in there refereeing the matches and doing a good job. You got to give these guys credit. It doesn't matter if it's here at the Florida WrestlePlex or like I mentioned in March, oh. we're back. Oh, huge miss by Quackenbush. Big miscue. That's where Sejin Aki takes over and puts a big kick right to the chest of Cavity. I tell you what, everyone has been looking up forward to this matchup between these cruiserweight superstars, and it has not disappointed. Nice arm drag takeover there by Mike Quackenbush. And fans, longtime fans of IPW will remember the wars he had with your Jet Jaguar and also the All-American Jeff Peterson. And everyone's glad to see a talent of this caliber back here in the IPW ring. Mike Quackenbush was the innovator, the first-time wrestler with Jet Jaguar and Jeff Peterson to wrestle in the huge industrial size forklift ladder match at the Crystal River National Guard Armory. One of the craziest matches that'll ever go down here. Here comes Sajin. Oh, another nice elbow shot. Or is that a forearm? I'm not even sure. That was a roaring elbow. Roaring elbow. I'm sorry. Roar. I didn't know we had Masato Tanaka here. But here goes Sajin Aki. Some sort of missed splash gimmick maneuver off the top rope there. Mike Quackenbush saw that coming a mile away and got out of the way from Sage and Aki there. Sage and Aki may be showing a little bit of his quote-unquote rookiness, if you will. Maybe he's a little bit nervous going against this guy as he just flies off Sage and Aki's stomach a la old Ivan Koloff type maneuvers. I think he's been watching Ivan Koloff and Kevin Sullivan tapes with that huge double stomp to the gut. If you go to IPW-Hardcore.com or call 727-526-6778, you can get the entire IPW schedule. On April oh, 3rd, what in the wow, world? Those are right out of the ring. Throws them out like the, yesterday's garbage. Yeah. I'm sure he's going to come right back over the top. Here he comes, springboard. Oh, he's, he likes giving those knees and those elbows right to people's jaws. It's a little bit of a unique offensive maneuver there by Sage and Aki, but I don't like the whole trying to be sexy and showing off his back thing. It's just distracting, quite frankly. You've always mentioned that you don't like the small of his back one bit, but you got to give the guy credit. How do you counter somebody taking their knee and crushing your head? And like I was saying well, before, I was like so that. rudely interrupted. If you go to IPW-Hardcore.com and you can see on March 29th and March 30th, we're going to be at at the Florida WrestlePlex and at the Crystal River National Guard Armory. April 3rd, IPW returns to the Dallas Bowl on US Highway 301 in Tampa. IPW oh. Hardcore Wrestling invades the Deltona High School in May. We're invading the Pinellas Park Expo Hall in April and May. We're going crazy. Rob, IPW just getting here? started. Huge move by Quackenbush. Stretching him in a crossbow tight maneuver. Yeah, it's like a reverse crossbow. Oh, and then just lays him out right in his face. This could be it for Sage and Aki. But Mike Quackenbush, you got to hurry a little bit more than that to get him pinned. He hooks the arm, rolls him oh. up in a huge pretzel type maneuver and doesn't get the three count. The mullet, he's on the top of his game. Quackenbush is pulling out all these innovative maneuvers and gets German for his oh, troubles. Nice German suplex there. Actually, fisherman, almost a fisherman suplex there. I thought he was going to go into but instead he just takes the German suplex but holds it just perfectly. And there he goes with the fisherman. One, two, no, not quite three. Is 
Quackenbush is able to kind of kick his way out of it a little bit there. These two guys obviously are tired. They've been going upwards of 20 minutes here by this point. As you know, unfortunately, we cannot show you the whole match each and every week. You've got to come out to our shows like the double shot, March 29th and 30th. But what you can watch right now is a nice leg sweep there that nearly broke the knee of Sage and Aki. That's a very dangerous maneuver. If you're not smart enough to go with that corkscrew leg sweep, you're probably going to have your knee torn right out of its socket. Mike Quackenbush, not only oh, an accomplished wrestler, but an accomplished author. He's put out a tremendous book that is selling like crazy throughout all the bookstores and all the independent shows that he's been appearing on throughout the country. If you go to IPW-Hardcore.com, you can have the opportunity oh. to purchase that book. Look at Huge. that maneuver. It looks like it was just diving over the top rope. Turns it into a spinning DDT. This could be it. Two. No. Sage and Aki again kicks out. This shouldn't surprise us. Sage and Aki has victories over guys like Jet Jaguar, Rod Steele, and even Mike Sullivan. So he's not going to falter just because an independent superstar is in the ring with him. Mike Quackenbush trying to set up Sage and Aki for the huge Quacken driver. And he comes off with a missing spin kick of his own and gets dropped into a big face gimmick deal. And another twisty. Here we go. He's, he's going. Look. Two. Three. That's it. What a huge upset.